up guys it's kelly and today i am starting another hair dye vlog and this one's gonna be a little bit different from usual because it's gonna span over potentially this entire week but i thought i would just start it now because i've got makeup on and whatever <laughs> so uh i just wanted to give you a quick intro tell you what is going on i am gonna be bleaching my hair tomorrow and i currently have it's starting to fade a lot i've already tried bleaching once the blue part of my hair but i'm gonna do another around tomorrow and I'm also gonna bleach out everything that is pink. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. So I'm actually not gonna film me bleaching my hair. One, because I'm still very new to it and I'm not good at it and it's a process that I need to speed through so that I don't ruin my hair. I don't wanna worry about filming during that, but I will show you guys what it looks like after. But I will take you guys along for the journey once I decide what hair color I'm doing. I, I really wanna go with a red, but I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do yet. I might do like, I don't know, pink at the bottom <laughs> or something exciting. So um, yeah, I just wanna get out what I have right now and then potentially just be sitting with bleached hair for a few days while I decide exactly what I want to do especially based on how light my hair color is going to be but uh either way you guys are along for the journey so uh next time I see you guys I will be somewhat bleached hey guys okay so hair update it's been a couple of days since I've last spoken to you since then I have done a couple of things as you can see my hair looks different <laughs> okay so thing number one I did was I used the splat bleach slash lightener product on all of the parts of my hair that had color in it and it worked really well I think on the pink so now it's just like this really soft rose gold situation and I'm totally fine with that because the color that I'm putting in is red so I'm I'm fine with how this turned out I think that turned out great here's where things get a little tricky so I put it on the blue first because I've bleached the blue before and it did not come out and no surprise it did not come out again so I had the brilliant idea to try to neutralize it and I read on Line that if you put orange hair dye on blue it will turn brown and I thought that would be a little bit better than just having a blue chunk because I'm so tired of this blue let me tell you well it's not blue anymore but yeah so uh, as you can see it turned green for some reason so uh, that's where we're at right now and basically the next step I'm just gonna go ahead and put color over Ooh, that's um some rough lines over here. <laughs> Listen, this was my first time trying to bleach my own hair besides that blue chunk and uh, I'm not a pro at it. I'm not even good at it. Nobody should trust me to do their hair, least of all me, but that's that's the world we live in right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna put the red over it and see what happens. Now that it's green, in theory, the red should neutralize it to brown or maybe just like a darker reddish brown situation and I would be totally fine with that. I don't really care. As long as it's not this color anymore, I feel like I look like, I don't know, I'm, I'm making myself hungry every time I look in the mirror because this reminds me of like, you know when you get sushi and there's wasabi and pickled ginger on the side? I feel like I look like those exact colors. So that's what's going on right now. But I'll, I'll actually bring you guys with me when I do my actual hair color. The reason that I didn't want to do the bleach with you guys was because I just I didn't really know what I was doing so one I didn't want to show that and two I I wanted to work as quickly as possible so I didn't damage my hair as much talking to the camera kind of slows me down a little bit and also I didn't want to stain any more of my shirt so I just kind of did it right before I hopped into the shower so yeah I'm probably not gonna dye it for another couple of days so once I'm ready for that I will bring you guys along I'm actually filming it I don't know if I told you guys but I am filming me coloring my hair I'm doing a an Instagram story takeover for splat hair dye so I'm gonna be doing my hair for that but I'll also be vlogging it so we can get a little double action going on there and then you guys can see what it looks like and that'll be that <laughs> all right I'll see you guys later hi guys okay so I don't remember what day I updated you on the hair but it is now Sunday so I've had pretty much a week of this peachy situation and now I'm finally going to dye it dye my hair color. I'm sitting here in this setup because I'm actually going to be filming it for the splat Instagram story. I'm hoping I do a good job. <laughs> so I've got the red splat naturals that I'm going to do like from here. I don't know if it's going to come on to the like brown and then just go down to like here-ish and then the bottom will be pink. So this is the splat naturals. That's what this very stubborn color is but I've been wanting to keep it in the red family for a while so I wanted to use splat again and I'm I'm hoping that it'll last as long as this blue lasted because that would be nice. <laughs> 
be a little easier on me. So yeah, I'm gonna set all of that up and then I'm gonna dye my hair. And I'm gonna save that footage, so I'll insert it here so you guys can actually watch the process of me dyeing my hair. I think it's just gonna be like a little time-lapse situation. So um, yeah, here it is. So I just put the red and pink hair dye in my hair and I'm actually pretty impressed. I have a feeling that this is going to cover up that green. So fingers crossed, we'll see. Hi guys, okay, so it's the next day. I have obviously washed out my hair and straightened it so you can see what the final look is. And honestly, I cannot believe that that blue finally came out. Well, I guess it was green by the time I did this, but it, is red now, which is crazy. Well, I mean, it actually looks more of like a wine color, which I'm not mad about. I actually love that. So I'm really impressed with how this turned out. I think the shift from red into pink is subtle, but you can see it in some spots. Like you can see this is definitely a pink piece and you can see some like random pink pieces. Oh my gosh, I did not do a great job <laughs> bleaching over there. <laughs> But that's okay. Regardless, I'm super happy with this. I always feel like red or like shades of red and pink are my default. Like this is where I feel the most like Kelly, but it's funny because I always end up trying different things, but I always go back to red. And I feel like this, like when I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, that's, that's what I look like. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. If anybody else is like crazy about doing different colors, but has like one where they're just like, that's, that's that's their one. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I'm curious if I'm just a weirdo or if that's normal for people to just have like one hair color preference. But anyway, since I have my makeup on from doing that little Instagram story, I am going to film a video. So um, by the time this goes up, you'll probably have already seen the other video. So you'll have seen my hair color, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed this vlog and maybe found it entertaining to see all of my hair colors. <laughs> that have occurred in the last week and a half. And yeah, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what other kind of content you wanna see on the vlog channel. In the meantime, I have a bunch of ideas. I've been wanting to do some like deep cleaning, like especially clearing out my closet and getting stuff to donations or at least ready to send to donations because my closet's getting a little messed up. <laughs> and I also have a lot of like work clothes which I don't really wear too often and I wanna kinda of pare down what I own of that because a lot of my work clothes I don't wear ever because when I do go to the office, I'm wearing scrubs and I'm probably gonna be doing that for the foreseeable future. So I'm not sure that I need all of these office clothes, literally. Like it's crazy, you guys never see me in office clothes, but I would say 80% plus percent of my wardrobe is just office attire. So, and I know that's probably hard to reconcile with the crazy hair and eye makeup and all the chokers that I wear, <laughs> but I do own a lot of office attire. So maybe we do a deep cleaning video. I don't know. Let me know if you guys are interested in that in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.